Assassin's Creed returns this year and it's going back to its roots with Assassin's Creed Mirage, dropping on October the 12th of this year. Picture this, you're an assassin, you're creeping through the crowd, you see a target in the distance, you know, you gotta take out a few guards along the way, then you gotta blend in so you're not seen, and then finally, you reach your target and you take care of business. It seems like a lot of gamers nowadays are, are, are wanting that stealthier game. I know a lot of people talking about Splinter Cell. They want Splinter Cell back, okay? We got a little bit of that with uh, the new Hitman series, which was a phenomenal set of games. And now it seems like Assassin's Creed is going back to its roots of gameplay. And we are focused now on that tactical, stealthy approach to real assassinations as compared to uh, the RPG elements in the newer Assassin's Creed games. Now, I don't dislike the newer Assassin's Creed games. I think they're great. But if I had to choose between the two, I would choose the classic over the newer age. But like I said, nothing against the newer age games. They're, they're, they're all great in my opinion. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. This is Dad Mod Gaming. I am Cullen Bango, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at my reaction to Assassin's Creed Mirage from the PlayStation Showcase. Of course, if you like this video, and I hope you do, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into this. Here it is, here it is. One of my favorite franchises Welcome, of all time. Hidden one. You have died and been reborn. Oh yeah, classic. The classic gameplay is back. And that's probably gonna be super smooth. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, this is gonna be incredible. We need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. You could bribe the guards to look the other way. Yes, I shall classic. see what flavor best suits me. Oh. Embrace the fear. Quiet it. Find a stillness. And let's go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh man, this looks incredible. The stage is yours, Basim. We will be watching. October 12th. All right, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Interesting that an Ubisoft game is in the PlayStation Showcase. Meanwhile, Ubisoft Plus is now on Xbox, interesting, but anyhow, maybe Ubisoft is is looking to Sony to buy them out. We'll see. Anyhow, uh, going back to the roots of Assassin's Creed in terms of gameplay. Now, let me tell you this right now. What hooked me into Assassin's Creed was the very first game. Toward the end of that game, you are fighting like a horde of people. Okay, it's it's nonstop combat. And I thought to myself, is this going to end at one point? What What is this about here? Okay. And the sword play, the acrobatics, everything about that first Assassin's Creed game I loved. Okay. It hooked me in. I played Assassin's Creed 2, all the little expansions to that, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4, which is probably my favorite Assassin's Creed of all time with Black Flag. All right. 
and then they change it up and they make it an R, you know, more RPG focused. But the combat is still good. Like I don't dislike the newer Assassin's Creed games. Okay, and it, at the time when Ubisoft decided to make it a more RPG focused game, people took to that. All right, the people, you know, the different players who liked Assassin's Creed, they thought at the time this is what the franchise needed. And uh, they were open to it. And Assassin's Creed, what was it? Um, Origins was kind of like a breath of fresh air for the for the franchise at that time. So they had Origins, then you had Odyssey, and then Valhalla. You know, now it's funny. We're at the point where we're kind of sick of the RPG. At least I am, anyway. The RPG, the heavy elements of the RPG. Uh, model in the game okay like if you play Assassin's Creed Odyssey very very good game very very bloated game very bloated game Valhalla I have I, I've played maybe about maybe a quarter of the way through Valhalla okay I enjoy it but still it seems like a very bloated game I hope with Mirage and I think this is what we're gonna get a more linear approach to a certain degree it's still gonna be open world I think but a more linear approach and this is like a breath of fresh air at this moment in time for the franchise. I'm really looking forward to Assassin's Creed Mirage. I think it's going to be a phenomenal game. I can't wait to play it October 12th. This is now number four for the PlayStation Showcase games I'm looking forward to, okay? You got Assassin's Creed, uh, Metal Gear Solid, Phantom Blade, and what was the other one? Final Fantasy. All right, let's keep it rolling. Uh, DMG Live. Wednesdays, usually on Mondays at 10 p.m. If you like what you see, like, subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Well, everybody, the stage really is yours this fall on October the 12th when Assassin's Creed Mirage debuts. It's coming out for PS5, it's coming out for Xbox, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. What type of Assassin's Creed game do you prefer? Do you prefer an Assassin's Creed game where you're focused on RPG elements and uh, building relationships and developing your character that way? Or do you prefer an Assassin's Creed game focused on stealth and taking out your targets one at a time like we've seen in the classic games? Make sure you leave a comment down below. And on your way down to leaving a comment, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and once you subscribe to DadMod Gaming, make sure you ring that bell to enable all notifications so you're aware of all future content dropping on the channel. Thanks so much for watching till the end of this video and I will see you in the next one.